For today's episode of Positive Reaction, we've got two boxers, both role models. Uh, one is into helping the youth. Uh, they've got a lot of great aspirations for the future and their people. Check them out. We're here at Coleman Young Recreation Center with reality show star Cornelius K-9 Bundridge. Welcome to the show, K-9. Okay, first of all, I want to ask you, how has being on television, boxing in front of millions of fans, changed your life? Oh, man, yeah. I feel real good, man. I'm happy, man. People know me, and, you know, it's sky's the limit, man, you know. I'm happy that people actually want to be around me, and, and they do the barking. You know, K-9, that, that's a dog, and they like to bark, and I like to bark, and I'm a silly person, and people, you know, they feel like they can relate to me. Okay, now they call you K-9. Do you actually own any dogs? <laughs> Hey, look, man, I, ha I had two blue pit bulls, and, and someone stole my dogs, and if you stole my dogs, it's a reward for them, you know, please bring me my dogs back. Name's Ox and Naya. Well, yeah, I had two, two blue pit bulls. They were some nice dogs, you know, house dogs, and, you know, they got away, and they gone now. I don't have them anymore, but, of course, I own some dogs, you know, but now I'm the only dog at the house. Okay, okay. Now, you got your name, Canine, from your boxing style, right? Um, tell me how you developed that style. Uh... Just, you know, watching fighters like, you know, Roy Jones and, you know, Sugar Shane and Floyd. And, you know, I just watched them and see how their style was. And Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. And I just came up with my own, you know, own little style. You know, I just, like, put it in the cereal and just ate it up, you know. And I came, it was like Frankenstein, you know. I became K-9, you know. Who was your favorite boxer? Mm, my favorite boxer, I would say, was Mike Tyson. Because Mike Tyson, he was, you know, reminded me a lot of me, you know, not very tall. And he actually knocked guys out that was bigger than him. And he showed a lot of people that you don't have to be real tall to actually be an athlete or to do something with your life. So it was like Mike Tyson. He was knocking big guys out. I was like, wow, this guy, you know, if he can do it, I can do it. And I'm doing it. Okay, so you, you would say he inspired you? Yeah, he inspired me a whole lot. You know, Mike Tyson inspired me a whole lot, even though he's going through a whole lot now. And, you know, I wish him the best. I hope everything go well for him. But, um, you know, you know, if someone takes $3 million from you or you end up losing all that money, man, you know, you're going to you know, act up a little bit, too. You know, if I lost $300 million or whatever the case is, you know, I would act up a certain way, too, you know. And, you know, you know, he just got a little, he having problems right now, but, you know, with God, he'll be okay. So you also talk about your faith in God a lot. Um, where, where did your faith come from? Did you uh, experience a lot of, uh, of faith in your home? Yes, 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 man. My my mama, you know, I was raised in church. You know, she took me to church every Sunday. And my grandmama, you know, she was in church every Sunday. So I was raised in church. The thing about it is, though, you know, being young, I didn't understand, you know, who God was and what God was about. And I didn't know, you know, that God was actually real. And as I got older, I was un I, I understood exactly what I was going to church for and the reasons for going to church and going through all the things I went through as a kid and, you know, not having a dad there, you know, and, and being there with my, a mom who was a single mom raising me, you know, and I'm the oldest out of four children. So, you know, I learned a whole lot and I realized how real God was. And I understand you take God to the ring with you too, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus right here and God right here. So, you know, ain't no beating me, you know. Even if I was a loser, fight, I'm still a winner because I got God in my life, you know. And he helps me my ups and downs. And, you know, God is good, man. That's what G.I.G. is God is great. And J.F.L. is Jesus for life. All right. Now let's talk about the early years of training. Uh, how old were you when you first started? Oh, uh, When I first started boxing, actually when I first actually went into a gym when I was 11 years old, I went down to Crunks 
and Mr. Logan, you know, he he was training me maybe for briefly for a week a week or two, and he wouldn't put me in the ring. I wanted to spar, you know, I wanted to get in there and actually fight, and he wouldn't put me in there. So I started playing basketball. I went upstairs and said, forget boxing. But I came back seven years later after you know watching fights like Mike Tyson, fighters like Mike Tyson, and you know and watching the Rocky movie and things like that, Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns, and it got me back into boxing at the age of 18. And I was a street guy, you know, having a lot of fights on the streets, you know, knocking guys out for free, and, and I could get paid for it. I said, wow, why not get into boxing, you know? So I'm back, I'm, I'm here, and I ain't going nowhere. What are your aspirations for the future? Um, man, I want to write a book. You know, I want to write a book. You know, from the exposure that I got on, 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 a, on a reality show, you know, I want to write a book. And I want to um, open up my gym. You know, I'm, I got a gym I'm going to open up real soon. And I'm going to write a book, probably be out this fall. And, you know, I love training guys, man. So I'm going to be a trainer in the future and a manager and promote. I'm going to do a lot of things for the sport of boxing and just for lives, period, in general. So, K-9, any advice for any upcoming fighters? Uh, yeah, just keep God first. Don't give up on your dreams. Uh, it's going to be times in your life when you're just going to want to just say forget it because things are not going the way that you want them to go. But, you know, you just got to hang in there and go through adversity, man, and keep God first and don't give up. I mean, I was told that I wasn't going to be nothing. I ain't, gonna, I ain't nothing. Uh, I was even told that I wish I even never had you, you know. But even, even though, you know, that was just out of frustration and being upset and mad, you know, my mom said that, but I love you, mom. But, you know, hang in there, man. You know, keep God first, respect your elders, respect yourself, and don't give up. Don't give up, you know, and that's really, that's really it. Yeah. And for fighters that don't know what they're getting into, tell us how you prepare for a fight. Man, let me tell you something. Boxing is like one of the, the toughest and roughest sports out there, especially when it comes to like conditioning, you know, and certain things you can't do. You, you know, of course, just period in life, you can't mess with drugs. You don't supposed to mess with drugs. I mean, don't mess with no drugs. Not trying to be no fighter, man. I mean, you, you know, you can get hit in the body, in your stomach, and be like, oh, you can't mess with a whole lot of pop and junk food. Ain't no having sex before you had a fight. I mean, it's real discipline, totally discipline. I mean, it's times when, you know, my wife be looking so good, so pretty, but nothing I could do because if I do, I, I get knocked out, and I don't want to get knocked out. <laughs> Baby, we'll put that on hold, lay away. <laughs> For real, yep. So it's, it's, it's like, like I say, man, it's, it's, you, it's discipline, discipline. I mean, you could be the toughest guy in the world, but once you get in that ring, it's just you and him. You got to prepare, prepare for a fight. You got to eat certain things. You got to do certain road work. You got to go to the gym daily. It ain't no, ain't no um, year off or half a year off or a break like football and basketball. You train all year round because you never know you're going to get that call. So what kind of things do you eat or can't you eat when you're preparing for a fight? Uh, you, I, me, you know, I'm, more, I'm closer to a vegetarian than they, they ever get uh, not being a vegetarian. I mean, you know, no junk food. I don't eat junk food when I got a fight coming up. I may eat, eat a little candy here and there and here just for the sugar because I don't get a whole lot of sugar when it comes to drinking juice because I don't drink a lot of juice when I got a fight coming up because I have to keep my weight down. And in boxing, you got to be a certain weight unless you're a heavyweight. You can eat all you want to eat. So, you know, me being a junior middleweight, you know, I'm a big junior middleweight. I walk around at 180 pounds, and I have to fight at 154. So I have to do a lot of training sometimes, two, three times a day I have to train. And to keep my weight down, you know, I drink a lot of water and eat salads and, and, you know, stay away from the junk food. And, you know, and I pray a lot, man. I keep God first so he can help me and give me strength to do the things that I need to do to prepare for a fight. Can you tell us about an upcoming fight that you have? Um, I mean, you know, I'm looking forward to be fighting one of these champions at the end of this year. And, you know, giving them the business is what we say in Detroit. You know, I want to give somebody the business. And, you know, I don't know exactly who it's going to be. Hopefully I can fight, you know, one of these, these big names. You know, maybe Oscar or Floyd or Sugar Shane Mosey. Uh, you know, I got mad respect for them. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I want one of the big fights too. You know what I mean? I got to get one of them big fights, man, and be one of those big names. And people respect you more. You know, I don't want them to look at me as just a reality show guy. And he just was on a reality show and, you know, part-time reality show part-time but I'm a real fighter before the reality show I was fighting you know I was knocking guys out and before the boxing I was knocking guys out I'm not happy to admit that but you know I'm a natural and you know God is good man you know for real all right and before we go can I get a sound bite I just want that classic bark <laughs> all right that was the real canine bundridge y'all that's all for positive reaction make sure you guys check canine out Make sure you keep up with his fights. 
make sure you you uh, you know where he's at he's going to be opening up a gym he's going to be training you you new upcoming fighters this is cornelius canine bundridge see you next time with positive reaction